Welcome to Narayana Live Classes. Today we are going to discuss assignment number 2 and the topic animal tissues. Let us discuss one by one question here. The first question, what is main function of the simple squamous epithelium? So just now as we have discussed uh, regarding the previous uh, assignment, so this epithelial tissues are covers that overall the body and these are present in and out and these are very useful for the protection and exchanging of gases by the diffusion method and they, they used to select that uh, the substances which are useful to the body so it is uh, by that membrane of selectively permeable membrane let us write the answer the answer what are the major function is major functions are protection and the next one is exchanging of gases By the diffusion method, diffusion method, and these these cells are used to be have that the membrane plasma membrane they used to go for the top for <coughs> the selectively. So we used to call it as a selectively permeable membrane because these cells uh, will be selected uh, the substances which are useful to the body they will allow that the substances into the cells. Let us go for that of next question. The next question is here where do you find simple squamous in animal body? Simple squamous animal body which has uh, lining layers we can find mouth lining, mouth lining where we can find that esophagus, esophagus is food pipe, esophagus, lining of esophagus and lining of alveoli. So these are the small air sacs which are present in the lungs and thus esophagus which is nothing but the food pipe. So the lining layers which are nothing but here squamous epithelial tissues okay and renal tubule which is present in the kidneys nephrons okay. So these are all the some important uh, parts where we can find that the simple squamous epithelial tissue okay. Let us go for that of next question. The next question is what is glandular epithelium? So this uh, epithelial tissues uh, sometimes they will be grow inward direction and forms that uh, glandular epithelium. So what is glandular epithelium is squamous epithelial epithelium. moves inward that means it just forms that it folds so that it just uh, go for that of glandular epithelium right we can find that in the glands okay so let us go for that of next question the next question is where is the stratified squamous epithelium will be there so this is what uh, is just present in the different layers wherever the layers number of layers will be there there we can find the stratified epithelial tissues okay stratified stratified squamous epithelium which is present where many layers are present wherever these many layers there we can find this stratified Squamous epithelial tissue, stratified squamous epithelium. Okay, so hope you understand this assignment. Thank you.